what's going on guys, John the Video Guy here. And today I have a very special treat for you because I found an awesome script that I found online that can auto-populate lower thirds inside After Effects. So feel free to download that in the description below. I'll have a link to that download link for you so that you can run the script for your projects. And what the script does is it allows you to populate lower thirds from a comma separated value spreadsheet or file. So basically if you have a spreadsheet with a bunch of names and titles um, that you need to add to a lower third or some type of graphic inside After Effects, you'll be able to do that using this script. So let's get started and I'll show you how to use this. So the first thing here is you need to get the spreadsheet or the data that you will be using for the lower third. So uh, I just have a random spreadsheet here to just show you how this works with a hundred, say if you have a hundred names that you need to add to After Effects and auto populate, this is how you do it. So you'll need to make a spreadsheet with all those names first. So what's important here is that you want to keep the first two, the first two cells name and title. And this matches the composition inside After Effects. So if you look in After Effects here, like the lower third template, it's very important that the title or the source text actually of the text layers match the first two cells in each of the columns here in the spreadsheet. So that's a must. Those have to match in order for the script to run properly. So name, title, just make sure that matches and then copy and paste all of these lower thirds in here. Um, so once you do that, you'll go to file, save as. And what you'll wanna do under say the file format is comma separated values. So that's what you're looking for. Save it and we'll notice in our finder here that we have a CSV file. So this is what the script is gonna to use to pull the data of the lower thirds. So inside After Effects, uh, click on the composition that you wanna run and auto-populate the lower thirds with, and go to File, Scripts, Run Script File, and then choose the script, which I provided in the link below. So feel free to go ahead and grab that and run it for yourself. So click on that, click Open, and then what it's going to ask you in this next pop-up window is the CSV file. So basically locate that and click open. And voila, you have a hundred lower thirds created in about 10 seconds. So there you go. So if we look in here, we open up any of these, you'll notice that they'll run and it's pulling the data and putting basically the data in that CSV file into the source text below. So it's just changing the text to whatever is in that CSV. Now just a few couple of notes here that I wanna make sure that you are prepared for before you do this. One thing you'll notice that I did here is that I made the design its own composition or pre-comp. That way, if you need to change the color of the lower third or whatever the graphic template is, you can easily do that without rerunning the script, you know, and redoing all the work that you just did. So I'll show you how this works here. Basically, when I open that up, you know, say if that black needs to become red, then that auto, pop, that auto updates in all of these lower thirds. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind when using this script. The other obvious one is just make sure you have all of your final names before you run the script, because obviously if you need to update it, you'll have to do that manually. So just be sure if you run the script, use it. To use it to its full potential, make sure you have a finalized spreadsheet with all those names to use. So that's pretty much it. Um, Feel free to comment, like, share this video because I be truly believe this script will save everyone a lot of time if you are designing lower thirds. So please hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel if you like this video and we'll see you next time.